do you know what it is to be happy? Do you wonder why some people are happy and maybe you aren't? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Beerman, and I'm really glad you joined us here today for Metaphysical Ministry International. So what's a metaphysical ministry? It's all about exploring the fact that more than 99% of the world that exists, you can't detect it with your ability to see, hear, taste, touch, or smell. So it's a matter of opening up to the other dimensions that exist that are here all the time and being present to it to really enrich your life. We begin every week with a happy share, something that leaves you feeling happy, peaceful, calm, or joyful. And my happy share is a really big one this week. A couple days ago, I launched my newest book, Thrive, Don't Just Survive, which is actually not just my book, but my life purpose. And as one of my friends says, my coming out party, because when I'm on stage, I have a really good time. So for people who think I'm kind of quiet and soft-spoken, when I'm on stage, I'm pretty different and really getting my point across and definitely having fun. Now what I'm going to share with you is a short interview I did with my friend who, she's my role model for happiness. She's the happiest person that I've ever known. And, well, it, you'll see when she explains to you what it is exactly that makes her happy. Hi, I'm Mary Garcia and I live in California. And I'm really honored to be interviewed by Ellie right now. So I think happiness is a choice. Uh, just being in full gratitude of the little things. And, you know, it's not that life doesn't throw stuff at me, but it's about just knowing what to do about it instead of feeling like, oh my God, you know, just what I do is I just sit and I meditate and I let God guide me. God is my friend and also I see God in everybody that I come across and not only everybody but everything and I I just love dancing so that makes me very happy when I'm not dancing I know there's something missing for me so I go dancing so find something that makes you happy and do it on a regular basis okay but the biggest thing for me is my relationship to God and I just in gratitude of everything in my life. So I'm very thankful and grateful that I have this connection to God for that brings me a lot of joy and happiness in my life. Thank you, Mary. Mary is somebody I look to as a role model because she's always having fun. And since she's been here with me, I'm doing a lot of silly stuff. Yeah, it's about knowing how to have fun. <laughs> Just sharing your stuff with your best friend, you know, and having fun, you know. It's just, it, that's about it, you know. Bring fun into your life, you know. This is Ellie's, but I'm having fun just having her <laughs> share it with me. Yeah, no, yeah, you have to have fun. That brings me joy, okay? So, uh, whenever you're down, find something that's fun for you and do it boy I'm telling you and don't forget to meditate because you'll get answers to all your questions when you meditate absolutely so cool. yeah well thank you Mary thank you for being here with us I appreciate your clicking like and share and let people know the secret to somebody who's a happy person and trust me she has major trauma in her life too mm -hmm. but she gets through it she comes right back absolutely yeah it's it can be done so just trust now if you're on the ministry site and you look up there you'll see a page called hold the space for if there's something you want to manifest in your life it's not happening go in down there tell us what it is and then I'll put it up on the page come back here at least once a week tell all your friends to come back read every name on the list and what they want to make happen in their reality. That way it makes the thought form of one person putting it out that might be this big 
if 10 people or 20 or 100 people are speaking that same reality for the person, the universe really sees it easier and they bring it to you faster. I really appreciate your clicking like and share to let people know we're here. And if you haven't done so already, go in over there, give me your name and email, and I will send you a copy of How to Take Your First Step on Your Spiritual Path. I wish you a week filled with knowing what makes you happy, going for it, and many, many blessings in the process.